Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Europe Universal's free Divine Wind as Great Britain. Now in the last episode we renamed a couple of provinces and we tried to figure out more what we was doing. We have the plans to release this. Currently it says Korea but I'm hopefully going to be changing that. I'm, I know I've been able to do that um, post game before sorry, pre-game before, you know, I've uh, created a country and released it, but I don't know, I don't know if I can do that um, during game, but I've seen it done, so I should be able to, I'll figure it out, and we was making plans to come and kill France. Now, we need to be able to win a battle against is it two sets of 21 and a 17. At the minute we only have 19 and 15. 25, 20. Let's see, oh, 18. Fourteen. I'm trying to see what sort of like the most we can get away with making our army sizes. Hmm. I'm thinking we're going to have armies of 15 and try and aim to have two of them, so six armies of 15. Damn, that's going to be a lot. We have... Somehow I missed you uh, in the last episode. And turn off Hunt Rebels for now because I believe the mainland should be safe from general revolts. Yes, it is. We pull you over as well, so that's going to get us to four armies. So we'd need to train another 30,000 men. We've got room in our supply limit for it. But that'd be another 10 gold a month, I think. Gaining 38 annually, so actually we're gaining a good bit. Let's let the speed up. Can we get any sort of... Rather not... You know, improvement on our relations with... I don't think we will be able to. So let's instead go for these royal marriages again. I think Venice is the most likely, actually, which is... A little bit odd. We can't declare war. I don't have an alliance with. So I would have to cancel the vesselization first. That's... Oh no. They're in this war, yes. Super peace. Demand tribute. Concession of defeat. No. Uh, super peace. Offer tribute. Concession of defeat. Fine. And let's see. Rejected, rejected, rejected. Accepted. That's fine then. Of course, we know now we have no diplomats because I saved enough just to make that one proposal. Ooh! We have a new colonist who we can send out to... How long does it take? It takes about six months to get there, but that's fine. Hopefully New Albion will be made whole soon enough, and we have no diplomats there either. Well, not there, but at all either. And we don't quite get one every other month. Great man has a navigator has died. It doesn't bother me too much. But nice to find we've actually found this. So this is actually a separate island completely. I thought this was joined on. Ah, that's nice to know. Um, K 
can I get military access for you? Very unlikely, so no, that is. Let's see, if we did go to declare war, we have great relations, but yet they won't do anything I ask for. We have military access, which we'd have to get rid of. We have reconquest. The fact that they won't even take a royal marriage means that diplo annexing France is completely out of the question. Because obviously we need to have a royal marriage so we can do that. And they're our vessel. These are all things that we can deal with. And to start with... Uh, we don't have great relations. We have 150. See, unlikely. They'll likely take an alliance, but do we really want... Oh, the great man in our employ... Damn. He was our edge over friends. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have four magistrates. That should be enough to get cultural tradition up. Yeah, this is commission painting. Just shy. Um, unfortunately, that noise, I don't know whether you was just here at that gate, only means I'm going to have to leave it here. Uh, but I'll be coming back to this and it'll be obviously recorded for a full episode. Uh, but I'll be back shortly. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. But to you, this is in the middle of an episode. Um, fortunately I did say I was going to be right back, but I... I sort of, um, well it's a day later and I'm recording this now so I can finish off this episode so that I can encode it so it'll go up to as you see it today, but as I see it yesterday. So at the minute this is actually coming out basically an episode a day, me recording it an episode a day. Now from looking at the comments a few people have said uh, basically what will be our deal with vessels and I'm thinking to go for places with worthless land and worthless trade. I mean let's see what what do these guys actually have as trade. The China ware is quite nice but it's mainly grain and fish may even actually consider trying to keep this from these guys. Iron Naval's not really that good, and maybe try and get them to expand up north a bit, but anyway, that's going into a bit of finer detail, but bad land, basically, we're going to get rid of, and we'll try and keep the good land. Now, somebody said about keeping France as a vessel and trying to tech up quicker, uh, but at the moment... And I know I'm saying somebody, sorry, I am terrible with names, I'm really terrible with them in real life. In fact, I think I'm going to be better at it on here than what I am in real life. But as you can see, France is already out teching us. I believe they started behind us and now they're out teching us. And Brittany, even more. Uh, that's partly due to all our creepy lands here. Uh, but I'm going to sort them out and we're going to have a vessel of my creation as well again, I think. Uh, but I wouldn't mind a... They had to be different countries, didn't they? Um, but I wouldn't mind... Let's see who holds that. I wouldn't mind a few extra territories first, because there's a couple of semi-decent territories that I'd like to keep. Like, in the Middle East, I'd like to keep Alexandria, Judea. I think Medina's a good one. Actually, no, it's not. Uh, I guess production, but... And Mecca, I would like to keep them actually under my control directly, but I might not. I'm definitely wanting to... Hmm. Again, that's bigger details, but I think I'm not going to release the vessels that are there. I'm going to maybe modify the game a bit. I would really like to hear your opinions on this. Um, I'm maybe going to modify the game a bit and create my own vessels that I want to release. Uh, like I said, amend Korea here. Because... Well, I want to release them as my colonies, not as just random things that I've conquered and then re-took over. But I'll take your input on that, whether you think that's a fair thing to do or not. Is it just me, or if Germany had... Sort of like, maybe this... Delphine, Avignon, and De De Delphine and Avignon. That would be a rather neat border. It means me giving up land, so it's not going to happen, hopefully. But, but yeah, that would be a rather workable border. 
Then again, so would coming up to here. Switzerland and maybe taking Savoy and Provence, which I think is more like the traditional border, but either way, we're going to continue on now, and I'm not 100% sure what we was doing. I think we was mounting troops to go and attack France. Uh, so, let me check that. We should have had a navy that was moving to... Just dropped that army off, I believe. So it's going to come here and pick up the one in our Iberian little area. As someone has also suggested uh, creating little trade areas in countries like we've done here. I guess preferably taking the center of trade as well. Over in the new world. I mean, this would be a bit big. But maybe just these two provinces here create a center of trade in them. And then release the rest and keep this is under our direct control. And then the terrible ones out. I mean, base tax 3 and 5 isn't too bad. Or 3. I'm thinking if I'm to do that though, then they really need to be like 3 provinces in size. Because that's sort of like a sustainable-ish chunk. I wouldn't want just one province because if it rebels and I don't have troops there, then it's you know, useless. But if the case where there's three of them, obviously I can train troops, rush, well, rush by mercenaries or something in the other ones to go take it back. And that could be a good tactic for in China because I don't want to take huge swathes of their land, but I wouldn't mind. Like, for instance, we have Shanghai here. Unfortunately, the center of trade is actually in the capital. A base tax 10 and a 7. I guess you're a. Oh, you're only a 4. And a 4. But it's getting to that area where this would be an acceptable area to try and consider taking. Shanghai, definitely, just because it likes the name. Oh, and uh, please keep the suggestions of names coming. I haven't had a chance to look at the comments for today. You know, the ones I've ever seen are the ones that are actually for yesterday. Uh, but, oh no. Two days ago, from your point of view. God, I'm losing track of this. Anyway, let's bring this ship around. The Emperor's reputation is tarnished. Um, we'll gain the infamy because we're not too bad on that. And it is going down. Let's see. Current ruler. Oh, almost one a year. I thought it was going down better than that. We have, we have a seat free? Inflation reduction. Oh, it was our morale guy, wasn't it? Which I think I was trying to sort. But we didn't have the magistrates. Ooh, ooh, new tech. New decision we can have. Right, the Holy Roman Emperor... They tell us that the Council of Galenia has happened in their territory, so they can now perform the Counter-Reformation. We can't because we've already swapped. Now, what, what religious things can we do? The Test Act. Yearly missionaries more, but tolerance of heretics less. Well, not heathens though, just heretics. And... France is doing a better job than us, but we're not doing too bad at converting the heretics. Actually, we're doing terrible. Hmm. In India, we're not doing too bad, but um, yeah, the rest we actually do seem to be doing terrible. But I do like the more missionaries, but we don't have the money to fund more missionaries yet. Yeah, we've got four sitting there, so that's not a, no point enacting that yet. A national tax down stability goes up. I'm not fussed about. Revolt risk increase. Missionary cost less. Chance more. We just have to have a theologian for that. It might be worth getting a rubbish one of them now. Enacting that than leaving. I mean, how many of these just... Rule administration is six. I think we'll be able to do that when we get our new... Yeah, we'll be able to do that with our new king when we get him. Which is missionary cost down, stability cost up. And that's, I think, enacted until the end of the game. I've not messed around with these much, to be honest. Government tech at least 15. Oh, that's a no-brainer. Once you have it anyway. Missionary cost down, missionaries up. 
Yeah, you got to go with that one. Well, we just need a theologian. And we'll gain a bit of revolt risk, but we'll gain an 8% national tax modifier. How much do we get national tax? Ah, 62. So we wouldn't we'd gain about 4. But that's monthly, isn't it? Four a month is actually quite useful. And we don't want to be changing back because we're soon going to be going up. Anyway, the timer has gone and I am jabbering on. Sorry if this episode is a bit um, confusing because it's really like the start of two episodes. Uh, but I will endeavour to make sure that the next recording session is a nice long one. Um, but as always, thank you for watching and goodbye.